sea of orange and blue at the Denver Civic Center Park, temporarily named Broncos Boulevard. Broncos, baby! These Bronco fans are loud and proud. Who don't love football? You gotta be a Broncos fan. There's the kids taking in all of the excitement. Next is the furry fans repping the Broncos gear. Oh no, they see another doggy. And don't forget about the super fans who created their own Broncos personas. Hi. I'm known as the entertainer, known as the limo driver. Official Denver Broncos super fan. I've been around since 1960 when the Broncos first started. To be a Broncos fan, there are a few things you need to do. The combination is it's just being loud. Letting everybody know we got to bring the thunder. We got to bring the power. If we don't do that, we don't impact our team. But being a Broncos fan doesn't come down to just cheering. It's diehard. Um, it's in your blood. If you're born and raised here, win or lose, you're down for your team. It means, what does it mean to be a Broncos fan? a Broncos fan my whole life. It means I get an extra family. And if you're a Broncos fan, you absolutely cannot wear the opposing team's colors. Hey, I got to get out of here. No, yeah, They're going to kill me out here. The energy from the fans was so inspiring that I couldn't help but join in on the fun myself. Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! If one thing's for sure, the Broncos aren't going into the big game alone, as they have their support system to back them up. For the Met Report, Go Broncos! Miranda McCotchkins.